It is indeed my very great pleasure and privilege as father of the bride to propose a toast to the health and happiness of the bride and groom, Catherine and Neil, two of the nicest people on earth. But <laughs> before I do so, there's just one or two dozen points I'd like to say. Catherine is our middle daughter, and she was born at Olmskirk Hospital in Lancashire on the, at 6.40 p.m. on Tuesday, the 9th of December, 1975. It seems such a long time ago. It was a very exciting day for Yvonne and I, and her big sister, Alison. Sadly, because of work commitments, I wasn't present, and I, but I've made it up since then. <laughs> Catherine has always sees the very best in people, and in doing so, brings out the best in them. She is a great family person who is kind, caring, and compassionate. After all her travels, we wondered, where next? However, we were delighted when she met Neil, one of Nigel's friends, and obviously their friendship developed over a while. <laughs> and, they and they decided to settle down together. From the offset, we immediately liked Neil and became very fond of him over this time. Neil has many fine qualities. He's very well-mannered, considerate, and totally dependable. And it, that is a credit to his parents and his upbringing. I'll start by saying how beautiful you look, Catherine, in your outfit. I've heard so much about this dress. It's been hung up in a spare bedroom and I've not been allowed to go in it in any form whatsoever. But when I saw you in it this morning, you just looked absolutely stunning. You really did, you did. <laughs> At long, long last, the big day has finally arrived. And what a joyous day it's turned out to be. If they'd left it any bloody longer, they'd have had to push me down the aisle in a wheelchair. A lovely ceremony in an ancient abbey on such a beautiful summer's day to celebrate the marriage of two lovely people. After all we've gone through <laughs> during the last few years, isn't it wonderful to be able to celebrate such a joyous and happy occasion with family and friends? Let me introduce myself. I am I'm Nigel. I've known I couldn't believe this when I did the maths, but I've known Neil for over 40 years since Cubs, as he said. Uh, we met at the age of eight. Um, proud members of Red Pack, um, uh, and we went to church down school together. Um, and we've been the best of friends ever since. The other freaky maths is I've known Kath for over 20 years. Um, she introduced me to her sister Ali, now my wife and mother of my three beautiful children. So um, thank you, Kath, for that. And I like to think the big circle of life and the complicated connections here, that we've returned the favour because we got 
Kath and Neil together back in 2005. And we were instrumental in that. And then after a little bit of a break, <laughs> we also got them back together again in 2015. So, of course, that means that John and Yvonne are my in-laws too, and wonderful in-laws you are, and a wonderful family this is. Um, and weirdly, after all these years, that means we're now brothers-in-law, <laughs> which, is, which is just a little bit freaky. So I'm definitely qualified in saying, welcome to the family, Neil. You took your bloody time, really, didn't you? How long has it been? So, um, uh, extra bit added by Alison now. You can now join the Team Shorten WhatsApp group. <laughs> now you're officially now. <laughs> and quite frankly, what a load of drivel that is. <laughs> no, 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 it's fabulous. It's a, fab it's a fabulous set of photos and stuff that goes on there. So firstly, um, the serious stuff, parents. Um, I'd like to thank John and Yvonne for allowing me to marry their fabulous daughter. Um, no, you've always made me incredibly kind and welcoming and um, feel, make me feel like one of the family, before I am one of the family. So um, no, thank you for that and I promise I'll look after Kath and Emily so I don't have to worry there. Um, my mum and dad, um, thank you for raising a fabulous son. Um, yeah, all right, Paul. But enough about Paul. Um, no, thanks for everything you do for us. Um, you probably don't say it enough or at all. But uh, uh, no, we, um, we do appreciate everything you do for us. Whenever we ask you for anything, you always say yes. And so thank you very much for that. I'd like to thank my lovely wife, my lovely new wife. Um, um, firstly, what can I say? Thank you very much for agreeing to marry me. Um, as I've been told by more, more than one occasion, no one else would have me. But uh, no, thank you very much. Uh, we've probably left it later in life than most to get married. It's only, it's only taken us 17 years, uh, but we don't like to rush things. Um, I'm going to be 40 <coughs> this year, <laughs> so uh, I think we've had time to realise we've probably made the right decision, or I've made the right decision. No, you really do, do look beautiful. Stunning, stunning dress. Um, and I'm very lucky to have you as my wife. And with Emily as well, I couldn't be happier. And Emily has got a fantastic mummy. So thank you very much. Uh, Kath did say quite a while ago that she's waiting for a knight in shining, shining armour to arrive, but obviously, as he hasn't, she's accepted my uh, hand in marriage. So, yeah, again, thanks ever so much for everybody for coming. Um, can I just raise a glass to my new beautiful wife? And um, hopefully you all enjoy the rest of your evening. So, to Catherine. <laughs> to see Kath and Neil finally joined as husband and wife. 17 bloody years after first getting together. And I think their journey is nothing short of a, you know, it's an epic love story really. You could make it into a Richard Curtis movie. more serious note they were always truly made for each other we knew that we knew that in our core and even when they were part they were soulmates uh, they were always best friends with benefits sometimes <laughs> uh, and, and we always knew we always knew that 
We always knew that they would find each other again. And they did.